Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the official announcement of the Summer Saren character. It has been a long time coming. We have been waiting for this character literally since the release of the game back, like, how long has it been? A year and a half now? It's been quite some, dude, it, it, time has truly flown by, like, it's, it is crazy. This game is already a year and a half old, almost, like, it, that is ridiculous to me. Um, so yeah, we're heading into the Saren Summer Celebration. Very exciting, we have the celebration details as well as to pull up. Um, before we go ahead and jump in, I want everyone to know, uh, people that are new to the game or still have no idea what this means. So this right here, you're looking at the best character in the entire game. If you do not get this character, I will feel very bad for you because this character is genuinely that good. Um, I highly, 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 highly recommend getting this character. Uh, Summer Saren, I don't think her rerun will be for quite some time, which is why she's also a super high value character. Um, if, for example, if I want to go ahead and pull up a... You know what? Let's do it right now. Let me go ahead and pull up the Princess Connect through that wiki. Let's head to characters. Let's go to Summer Saren, if we could find Saren. Where is Saren? Saren, 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 where are you? There you are. So here's Saren. Let's go ahead and pull up Summer Saren. Let's go to cards. Summer Saren. Oh, just a... Just a, just a simple 10, a 10 out of 10. Oh, and then a 10 plus out of 10. Uh, so yeah, this character is absolutely ridiculous. Just by looking at this, uh, I think they have a tier list as well. Where's the tier list? Can I? So yeah, here's the tier list. I finally found it. It took me quite some time because my brain is kind of mush right now. Um, but here we go. So if we're just look, looking at the tier list here, who's the, who's the first character you see? Huh? Tell me. Do, do you need me to zoom in for you guys if you're a little blind? Here, 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 here. Who is this character? What does this say, huh? What does that say right there? Summer Saren at the very, very top of the tier list. That is, that is actually insane. So, uh, Summer Saren, of course, literally this is the JP game. She is still in the SSS tier. Um, so you could just tell from looking at the tier list. I don't want to go over her entire kit right now. I'll do that in a separate video uh, whenever the time comes around, maybe a few days from now. Um, but you could just take a look at the tier list. You realize, yeah, she's that good. She's on the same tier as Christina. Princess Kokoro, New Year's Kiaru. Uh, we got Nanika here as well, Labarista. Six Star Ray is here. Like, it, it is ridiculous. Like, and she's above characters like Mwimi, Six Star Akino, Kazumi, Six Star Hatsune, New Year's Kokoro. Like, she's above all these characters and she's at the tippity tippity top, which she really deserves to be there because uh, she is genuinely that good. So, heading into the. Uh, Saren event kind of thing that we have going on. This is going to be the update details here. Um, so this is going to be the main coverage of this video. Um, so here, of course, Summer Saren's banner will be dropping on June 19th, and this will be going until July 4th. And I presume on July 4th slash July 5th is when we're going to be getting Summer Makoto as well, who is Summer Makoto is very, very good. Um, but I personally think Summer Saren is a million times more valuable than Summer Makoto will ever be. Um, but yeah, so Summer Saren is coming. Once again, limited character. So she's going to be a limited character, just like Summer Suzuna. Um, so you will not be able to pull them off of the regular premium gacha rotation, which means they are not a platinum character, uh, which means they are limited. So this is, yeah, it says this might be your only time to recruit her for a good while. Yeah, you don't say. So it's a summer character. Um, the last time we saw summer characters, summer Kiaru and stuff was literally almost an entire 365 days ago, an entire year ago. Um, so it's very important to make sure you do not miss out on these summer characters, um, especially the holiday characters, Halloween and stuff. These characters don't really come back around until the next year, uh, most of the time, most of the time, uh, which is why I recommend getting them when they first show up. So 15 days for the banner, not too bad. Uh, this is probably average, so two weeks in a day. Not bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move down. We have the three-star guaranteed premium gacha. I've already made tons of videos going over this. I don't think this is that worth it, once again, if you are a new player. Newer, newer players... Very, very good. We're probably going to be seeing a lot of newer players, and especially re-rolling. I personally do not recommend re-rolling because they give out so many free jewels that re-rolling, I think, is honestly not a great idea for this game. However, if you do want to, I feel like now is a good time. Um, unfortunately, it's not a Princess Gala banner, so you're not going to be having the double three-star rates and stuff like that, um, and you won't be getting you know all your value there. However, however, it is still the best character in the entire game, in my opinion, coming. Um... So it's really up to you if you want to reroll. I wouldn't blame people if you rerolled on this, but I personally think rerolling is not what you want to do for gacha games usually. Um, all right, going down after the premium gacha. Once again, we just talked about this. Only summon if you are either a whale or newer to the game and you have money to spend. And we have the revival story event coming for the dangerous vacation. 
Gourmet Princess on the Beach. So it's going to be a revival event, which means everything is going to be reset. Um, and it's pretty cool. So we're going to be getting brand new missions and stuff. We're going to be getting Summer Kokoro as well. So you'll be able to get Summer Kokoro up to five stars. I think she will be... Will you be able to pick her up from the from the thing? Um, so if you did end up missing out on this event for the first time, uh, you'll be able to finally get Summer Kokoro. I still think Summer Kokoro is a very good... She's still probably the best free-to-play character, in my opinion. Summer Kokoro is amazing. Um, so yeah, Summer Kokoro will be making her a rerun if you haven't got her or if you want to get up to five stars. Uh, now would be a good time to get her. So this will be coming on the 19th, uh, dropping at the same time. Uh, that the Saren uh, event banner will be coming. So just a revival story event, which means I think this is going to be reset. Uh, new missions that will allow you to pick up even more rewards if you clear the event before. Yes, so you'll be able to get new missions and stuff. It's a revival. It's not just like a rerun. It's it's a revival. So new events and stuff. So if you already cleared it before, you've been around for a year, uh, you'll be able to go ahead and get some more jewels from this, which I highly recommend doing so. Uh, moving down next, we have the brand new game update news. Area 26 will be coming with Chapter 13, Episodes 6 through 10. We're also going to be getting maximum of 4 Eclipse at rank 14. So 14-4 will be the brand new maximum rank uh, for your equipment. Uh, and then level cap, maximum level will be 139 from 136. So yeah, just obviously average basic game update, monthly update stuff, new area, new, area, new level cap, uh, and new ranks. So uh, very nice average stuff. Uh, we have the new Tower of Luna coming as well, up to floor 290 and the EX mission. Uh, this will be dropping on the 16th, so a few days before uh, the release of Summer Saren. Uh, and this will be going for about two days after the release of Summer Saren. Um, so you, what you could do is you could honestly wait until Summer Saren comes out before you can do this. Uh, and you probably could just knock it all, 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 all out in one day. Like, you genuinely could probably beat this in one day with one team. It might take you a few tries still with the EX for depending on what the EX boss is going to be and stuff. Um, however, I do highly, highly, highly recommend waiting for Summer Saren to come out because you do have two days or so to knock it out. Uh, but if you're going to be unavailable on the 20th and the 21st, uh, then you might as well just get it done as soon as you can. But I recommend to most people just wait until you get Summer Saren in your character list uh, and then go ahead and jump into Tower of Luna. Because uh, it doesn't really, it, you don't get a reward if you clear it faster. Like, if you clear it day one, you don't get an extra reward or nothing. Um, so just take your time with this. Uh, then we have, of course, the June Clan battle coming as well. Uh, this will be dropping on the 28th. Uh, this will go until July 3rd. Then we have Hard Quest times 2. We have Normal Quest times 2 as well. This will be on the 16th. Hard Quest is on, when, when is Hard Quest? The hard Quest is on the 21st. Uh, and then we're going to move into Dungeon, which is going to have Dungeon Double Drop campaign for 10 days on the 27th all the way until the 5th of July, and that pretty much covers everything going on. Uh, just basic stuff, a new, st not a new story event, it's a, it's a revival, so modified rewards and challenges are here. Um, and then we have the brand new banner, just an average celebration, nothing too, too crazy. Um, honestly, not insane stuff, but still, very, very exciting. Summer Saren is the best character in the entire game. So honestly, all they had to do really is make this banner drop, and they could make this celebration absolute shit. And it probably wouldn't have not, not would have not mattered because the character is so broken. They're gonna get people coming back to their game anyways just to pick up the character. Um, so yeah, that pretty much covers the entire update celebration details. Let me what you guys think of this update. Once again, just an average update. We got the double drops coming and stuff. Clan battle, Tower of Luna floors, uh, new area, new level cap, new equipment rank. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye everyone.